started our way. Morning commute, getting the kids to school, no issue, but there could be a little bit of a mess for the ride home today. Yeah, you know, it's just enough, Patrick, to cause probably a lot of headaches as you try and get around here as the day goes on today. We're still dry over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts right now. We'll start on the radar, and you can see where some of that light snow is starting to make its way into uh, far western New England, initially just some uh, flurries and snow showers. And again, it's over the next... Uh, three hours that we'll see the snow arriving here in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. I'm thinking around nine o'clock or maybe just just shortly after. So that's the timing here, similar to what we had yesterday and the forecast for the daytime today. And the only change I made was to put a slightly higher accumulation amount out there uh, for some spots. As we look at our temperatures right now, Heading out, the concern is black ice. It's uh, causing some problems this morning. Parking lots are slippery. Any untreated surfaces, your sidewalks, driveways, 30 degrees in Smithfield, about 34 right now in New Bedford, but that's one of the areas that did have some reports of black ice earlier this morning. Providence is also just above the freezing mark, but the temperatures have been hovering right around 32, 33 degrees, so still some slick conditions there. Winter weather advisory in effect until 5 o'clock this evening. Now notice it includes all of Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts, even blocks. Island, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard. You travel just north of our area, the snowfall amounts will be a little bit lighter there. So it's here in southern New England in terms of New England communities that we're expecting the highest snowfall amounts from this latest system. So our city cam over Providence right now, we're at 33 degrees. West winds light at 3, wind chill only at about 30. Uh, the clouds have rolled back in. We had a little bit of clearing earlier in the night, but now we're under cloudy skies again and here are those light snow showers starting to close in over western New England. And by the mid-morning, they're arriving here. So snow arriving 9 a.m. around 32 degrees. The temperatures may actually fall a couple of degrees this afternoon. Snow should be coming down at a decent clip at times into early this evening. And then overnight tonight, we clear out and those temperatures tumble down about 20 to 22 degrees. Here's the future cast. 8 o'clock this morning, a lot of clouds around. Here comes the snowfall again shortly after 9. And you can see some moderate to even heavy snowfall at times. This is noon. Any of the darker blues that you see where the snow's coming down at a steadier and heavier pace. Later on in the day, the snow will continue right into again early evening. This is five o'clock. So around the time of the commute home, the snow starts to wind down and moves out fairly quickly and the sky's clear behind it. So in terms of our snowfall amounts, I'm feeling pretty confident in two to three inches, I think for most of our area. Those uh, four inch totals will be possible where any heavier bands of snow set up. That's difficult to predict. Uh, our computer models, some of them have that higher snow band in our northern suburbs. Some of them have it closer to the coastline. So that two to four inch range looking pretty good for right now based on some of the latest information I have in just to our north. It's about one to two inches of snow likely. Seven day future cast we get through today and still feels like winter. It's going to be very chilly middle and eight, late part of the week. Temperatures only in the 20s Thursday and Friday. Looking ahead to the weekend still forecasting a coastal storm. Uh, the one over the weekend a little bit of a different setup. It looks like it may track close enough to us to where we start as a winter mix change over to a period of rain possibly and that'll last into at least part of the day on Sunday. So a lot of details still yet to be worked out on that weekend system but today we're talking primarily snow. Full seven day future cast uh, coming up in just uh, a few minutes of course and you can always get